Hi, welcome back. My name is Rikon. In today's session, we're going to look at exporting data from HANA Cloud to different public storage services like Amazon S3, Microsoft Azure, and Alibaba Cloud. In this particular example, I'm going to cover the use case of exporting data from HANA Cloud to Amazon S3 storage. I also got a blog on this topic. It is available on community forum. You can access this blog as a reference to get started. And this blog describes all the steps needed to perform this workshop in detail. What I'm going to need to perform this workshop, I'm going to need HANA Cloud Trial Instance, also AWS Free Trial uh, S3 Storage Instance. In my previous video, I've shown how to set up HANA Cloud Trial Instance on SAP Cloud Platform. It's very easy. I also have several developer tutorials created on this topic. You can refer to those to get started with HANA Cloud Instance. On the other side, creating AWS account and having free tier S3 storage is also a simple process. With those two prerequisites met, I'm going to start accessing these systems and do this workshop. At first, I'm going to access HANA Cloud Database. I'm going to switch to Database Explorer and invoke a SQL uh, console. I've got several SQL statements prepared here. I'm going to run uh, one after the other. Firstly, I'm just checking my current user name. It's DB admin. Currently, I'm using um, an administrator user ID. You can use your own personal user ID. There's no issue with that. I'm going to create a, a simple table. I also insert some records into it. So it's just creating a, a column table. Then just run it. It's created. I'm going to insert a few records into it. And I'm going to just display the data. Got three records in it. Now I've got my source ready. And then I'll go to AWS S3 console and do this S3 bucket creation setup. Switching to S3 management console. This is the home page for Amazon S3 storage account. You can see I'm in the buckets home screen. Bucket is a container where you can store all your files as objects. I already have a bucket created in my S3 account. If you want to create a new one, you can choose to create a bucket. I'm going to give the name and choose region and also configure the public access settings. I'm going to leave uh, the account to be made public and then save it. Not creating one because I already have one. I'm going to show how this bucket is configured. Got a file folder inside this bucket and inside this folder I got two files previously uploaded. I'm going to delete these two files now so that I, it's going to be cleaner one. Now my folder is empty. I don't have any files uploaded here. Now my target location is ready. And the next step is going to be creating a trust store with the certificate I've got from Amazon S3 account. How do I get the trust certificate? The process is similar to any other trust certificate retrieval from URL. So I'm going to do that now. You can access any file in the bucket. For example, accessing a picture file. Got the object URL link here. I'm going to open that. And I can see the lock symbol here. I'm going to click on that symbol get a certificate. I'm going to go to the certificate path, go to the root, and then say view certificate. I'm going to switch to the details tab and then copy this to your file. I'll say next, and then choose base64 encoded version. Say next. I'm going to choose the path for this certificate. I'm going to place it on my desktop. Choose the AWS certificate, which I was already there. I'm going to replace that with the new one. This is okay. 
going to replace it and say next and say finish the export was successful i got certificate exported to my local desktop i'm going to take a look at that certificate now close this one go back to my desktop I'm going to open this file uh, with a notepad you can see this between begin and end you got the certificate number i'm going to use this certificate to create a trust store to create a trust store in hana cloud database so that i'm going to access my cloud database again switch back to uh, db explorer and start creating some um, SSL configurations here. So creating a certificate store first, and then creating the certificate from, from the file what I've just got, and then I'm going to display the certificates. You're gonna see the certificate description uh, in the table, in the system table. This is my ID. 157920. I'm going to add this certificate to the SSL or I just created above. This is the SQL for this one. Don't worry about all these SQL. They're all placed in a GitHub repository, um, which is um, going to be provided in the blog as well as in the recording session. Now my trust configurations has been completed. I'm going to start working on exporting the data from table to S3 account. I'm going to find my table first. Tables. And then look for the table products. That's what I named. And then right click on products and choose export data. The default schema is DB admin and the table is selected as products. I'm going to click on step two. Got the option to export data to three different cloud storage options, Amazon S3, Azure Storage, and also Alibaba Cloud. As I said in this example, I'm using Amazon S3. I have to provide a region for S3. Since my account is being set up on Canada region, I'm going to give that. So you can also find the region from S3 bucket. It's going to be CA central one. I will give that up. An S3 path. If I don't know the path, you can compose one for me. So I'm going to choose compose and then give the access key. So where do I get the access key? You can go back to S3 management console and then choose my account and then say my security credentials. and then generate access keys from here. Click on access key, I already generated two access keys. Cannot generate a new one, uh, it's just my trial account. So I'm going to use the existing one I created in the past. So I already downloaded to my notepad. I'm going to use this access key ID and secret key. If you don't have one, you're going to say create new access key and then you will be able to get the access key details going to go to my notepad file and then grab the access key ID. And use it in DB Explorer. Also needed the secret key from the same place. And use it here, the bucket name. I'm going to go back to my S3 management console from here. Go into services and choose S3. I see this, my HANA file is the one. I'm going to give that here. And then object ID is going to be the file name. Also have another folder in between. So I'm going to use this folder HANA files. That's the folder path. 
and then forward slash in the file name. It's going to be products CSV. Oh, actually, for products should be fine. Just double checking the, the path. Yes, this is good. Say OK. Now, step three, I'm going to choose the format. The CSV is fine for me. I also have a Parquet format. Well, I'm just going to use the CSV format. If I wanted to control any of these parameters for delimiters, you can do so. I'm going to say export. Export successful, which means a file is uploaded to S3 bucket. If you get any error here, that could be due to invalid path or any other reasons due to the security case what you generated. So my export is successful. I'm going to go to the console and then check the folder. I see a file placed here, just product CSV. I can access this file or download and also I can move this file to a secure uh, FTP location as well. The other way around, which is importing data from S3 bucket into HANA cloud, is also working in the same way. You've got the trust certificate created, you've got the source file, and then you will import the data from the source file into HANA cloud. So we have seen the exporting data from a table using graphical interface. You can also use the SQL console to perform this action. Let's do that. I'm going to access SQL console and then run a command, export into, and then give the path S3 and the region and the, the access ID and the keys and my bucket name and also the folder and file name with extension .csv. Going to run this one. This is completed. So I'm going to check that folder. So now I've got the second file product to CSV. So with that, you can run the SQL statement to perform export option. In continuation to that, you can also embed these SQL statements in a stored procedure and schedule the stored processes to run at a certain period of intervals. I'd like to also add another note here. The source can be not only the table, but also can be a calculation view, and also database view, etc. So with all that said, this is a very powerful feature introduced in HANA Cloud. I think it is going to be helpful in your data integration scenarios at your landscape. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.